good morning to everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, a topology creation so in topology creation uh, we are specifically concentrating on uh, in this video we are going to specifically concentrate on uh, bus topology creation so this is the tool which is uh, used for uh, simulating uh, a network right this is called cisco packet tracer there are plenty of tools exist in the market so gns3 and uh, the ns2 cisco packet tracer wireshark so each is having its uh, each is having its uh, unique features uh, this package cisco packet tracer can able to easy uh, will be used to for uh, simulating a network right and it is having almost real time features right you can able to have network devices you can able to have uh, uh, n systems all those features are available in this uh, uh, cisco packet tracer right so here uh, initially what needs to be done is uh, you want to uh, configure the systems right so first initially i'm going in this video i'm going to discuss about bus topology creation right so first i need to have a set of systems for uh, simulating uh, here i have let's assume i have uh, five different systems for uh, uh, connecting to pcs connecting to networking devices so here i need to have uh, switches for connecting my uh, systems so even though in the theoretical uh, we have discussed that uh, uh, bus topology will be like uh, uh, systems are directly connected uh, but uh, in terms of reality so this cannot be possible because the pcs cannot be directly connected we need to connect the pcs only with the help of uh, any networking device right so now uh, the systems needs to be connected right so here connection can be done through this thunder symbol right so here there are a lot of possibilities of connections exist so each is a different type of a connection right so uh, uh, for example uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's take uh, for connecting my uh, networking device with the npc i need to use this copper stride through right so this is uh, we want to select the respective these are all the 24 number of fast ethernet ports available in the switch right when you click on the switch uh, you will get this uh, option so uh, there are 24 number of uh, fast ethernet ports and then uh, two uh, number of uh, gigabit ethernet ports so you need to uh, you need to choose which uh, interface you want to choose uh, you have chosen the first fast ethernet connection uh, interface and i am connecting with uh, the single fast ethernet port available in the pc so that these two are connected right and the similar process is done here this switch also has 24 number of ports fast ethernet port and connecting with uh, fast ethernet zero and uh, as the same procedure is done for the rest of the systems if you feel this is a, a tough task you can uh, go for another simple possible mechanism available so uh, this is uh, one method for connecting your uh, um, uh, pcs instead you can go for this thunder symbol this thunder symbol automatically chooses what type of connection that is required right so now between two uh, networking device two switch so uh, this is nothing but the next connection that is required because it is a copper crossover connection it is automatically taken right so you can choose for uh, this thunder symbol for uh, any devices either it is n device and then switch or else two networking devices anything it may be so it automatically chooses the type of the connection that is required right so now uh, this is also a simple process so instead of uh, selecting the respective interfaces it will automatically connect uh, the first interface of the device right so now uh, the network is ready so you need to define your uh, ip address of your uh, yeah, yeah, n devices right so here uh, as i said as we all know that uh, the ip address that needs to be used for uh, simulating is uh, only the uh, private IP addresses so private IP addresses range you are all know that so it's a 10.0.0.0 to 10.25.255 and then 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 and then 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 that is the range of private IP addresses public IP addresses are not allowed to be used for uh, uh, simulating right and also this is majorly used for connecting uh, your systems in the lan right within the organization so let's go for uh, assigning the ip addresses 192.168.0.1 so please remember you cannot use the first ip address of uh, any block of pri private ip address because first address always will be used for uh, network id representing the network id 
whereas the last address always will be used for uh, dedicated broadcast address right so please remember that so you should not uh, use the first ip address and the last ip address you always start from uh, one first uh, that is a uh, 0.1 you cannot use 192.168.0.0 right please remember that point so i am assigning the ip addresses for uh, this is just labeling you want to uh, configure this ip address to each pc 192.168.0.5 right so it starts from 192.168.0.1 2 3 4 and 5 right so now i need to uh, configure this uh, to individual pc right so for uh, connecting your pc so for uh, configuring your pc you want to click on this and you want to go to desktop ip configuration there you can find uh, this ip address right so here you need to uh, 192.168.0.1 uh, subnet mask is uh, uh, will be automatically taken so this subnet mask will be used for uh, identifying unique uh, the identifying the ip address in a given network right so it will be automatically taken so just uh, copy that so that you can easily you can click on it desktop ip configuration copy it subnet mask will be automatically taken just uh, change it to two third pc desktop ip configuration copy subnet mask will be taken change it to 3 desktop ip configuration change it to 4 ip address uh, subnet mask is already taken ip configuration here it is 5 So uh, you no need to give a default gateway because we are not connecting with uh, connecting our uh, network with outside uh, uh, network. So this is within the single LAN. So all the systems are connected through switches. So no outside communication. So no need of uh, gateway router here, right? So this uh, is uh, now ready to simulate. So now uh, simulation can be done through uh, two methods, not simulation. So testing of connections can be done through two methods. One is through pinging. So if you click on the system, there is an uh, option called command prompt where you can able to ping, right? So one to ping, 192 point testing for uh, two PCs, 192.168 point, sorry, 192.168.0.5. Point, point, I am testing. Yes. Sorry. It fails to think why IP address Let's bring us. Yes, it works. Uh, let's test for one more thing. Let's wait for a while. Okay, uh, we'll test through a test for uh, uh, through another method, right? So it takes some time. So I think uh, it will be uh, done. So let's check for the next mode of uh, uh, testing through simulation. Here uh, there is an option called View uh, Simulation Mode. So in that simulate mode, uh, you can click on the simple PDU, right? So you can click on the simple PDU, and you want to check for you want to choose the source and destination system. The first click decides that it is a source and the second click decides that it is a destination. So the same PC I am choosing, uh, source and destination. Now the packet is ready. So uh, you want to uh, before, you want to choose for uh, what, what type of uh, protocols you want to uh, 
uh, trace because this uh, uh, show all and show none will uh, capture all the packets so you want to uh, you want to click on the show all and you want to edit this filter so what type of what are the what are the pro protocols you want to capture in the in this simulation we want to capture only this icmp packets so icmp packets alone will be captured so i am clicking on this capture forward uh, for each step so now packet is ready to transmit from uh, 192.168.0.1 so capture forward so packet will be uh, moving from switch 4 to switch 5 switch 5 to switch 6 switch 6 to switch 7 and from switch 7 to switch 8 and finally it reaches the destination system and uh, the destination will generate uh, uh, acknowledging for the packet and now uh, acknowledgement is traveling from 7 to 8 sorry 8 to 7 7 to 6 6 to 5 and uh, 5, uh, 5 to 4 and finally it reaches the source system so this is how uh, bus topology works right so uh, we'll see uh, another topology uh, in the next video thank you